started uh, this morning at about 7.30 uh, with pre-jump. We've had this jump scheduled for quite some time. It's a chance for us to test out the new P11s for the first time. Um, we just had roughly about 30 people graduate the uh, Jumpmaster T11 net, so we're shuttling guys through now to get some experience actually jumping it. The T11 parachute is following the T10 parachute, which has been uh, in, in use for over 50 years. And although the T10 is a, a proven uh, piece of equipment and parachute, what we found is that soldiers nowadays are, of course, you know, a little bit larger than they were 50 years ago, but also carry more equipment and sometimes heavier equipment. The canopy of the T11 is 28% larger than the canopy of the T10 you descend at a rate of 49% slower, so you have a 49% uh, slower uh, rate of descent, uh, which equals more combat uh, effectiveness on the battlefield, as well as improving the quality of life of the soldier. It was actually my first jump with the T-11 uh, as a regimental air officer. I, it's my responsibility to know everything a parachute can and can't do and what we can do with it operationally, so I took the advantage today to come out and, uh, and jump before it completely filled to the range regiment. And, uh, it's actually a refreshing jump, probably one of my best landings I've had in 13 years of jumping. Jumped uh, past the T-10s first and then exited about roughly about 42 jumpers of T-11 onto a fryer drop zone. Looking up and seeing a new kind of shoot is kind of interesting. Looks like you're jumping a fitted sheet. Opening shock's easier, there's not the oscillations, and in the air it's just a really nice shoot. It was nice. Much, much slower than I've had in a, in a, in a T10. Um, one of the things I was saying earlier to my wife was that uh, I, I could usually be 7th or 8th out of the aircraft and I was going to be one of the first ones down, but here I, it was actually a very slow, slow rate of descent. I, I had a very smooth landing. For the first time in, well again, 13 years, I had to force myself to do a PLF. But now we have a soldier that's safe, uh, less injuries, and is more combat effective on the battlefield. It's good that we're starting to field it now so we can hash out those kinks as far as equipment and stuff like that and continue to be ready to operate anywhere within, in the world within a short amount of time. Yeah.